this is the how to for unit 3 lesson 10 activity guide site sprites scene planning uh, also have an example but let's just jump right into it so what you are going to do is plan your scene draw it build it and then write responses about it so let's kind of walk through this first thing you're going to do is draw it now you can use paint photo p any other program you know how to use it you could also just go on this double click use this to draw on there's a lot of tools in here um, you can also delete it insert a drawing and then build your square we know that it's a square so we can grab a square build the square and then <clears throat> once we have the square we can change the different pieces of this so I want it transparent I just want the outline of it and in this example I'm gonna build pong you cannot do pong for this project right anything else you want to do but you cannot do pong or something very very similar to pong you have to make your own because this is gonna give you all the answers for making pong so again if you do pong you're just gonna not get a grade for it so let's add some more pieces to this because this is pong I'm gonna use one of these shapes to grab a piece here we already kind of showed you how to change the colors to it. Add another piece over here. Get just the idea of Pong. Let's make that blue. And you can resize it as needed and move it around so it fits better. And then we need a ball. But we can use whatever we want for a ball. So I'm going to use a smiley face. And then let's give it a yellow background. All right. So I drew this and that's what you're going to do you're going to have all your things now i'm not doing the background because this is just an example but you could have a little i just need a set of court line here other pieces i'm just showing you how to do this you are going to need to do more this is the absolute bare minimum to pass but again you need a background a court whatever you're doing it's space need stars this is just an example so <clears throat> i'm saving close this and then i'm going to undo this um, because I have another example and then I'm gonna go through and jump over to my example right so that's how you kind of get started on that however you, however you want to get that picture there you can literally draw it with your hands and then take a picture of it and upload it so again I have it uploaded and now you need to put every single sprite and give it the label that you're gonna call it L paddle R paddle so left paddle right paddle the ball this will be the paddle on the left side of the screen again good description doing as best as you're gonna. And again, I'm showing you the bare minimum requirements. Uh, the more you put, the better. And then what is this gonna be able to do? The paddle, again, it's explaining the whole entire game. The paddles move up and down towards the top and bottom. That's what it's talking about there. The ball will randomly pick if it goes left or right. And it may go, and this is not what your app's gonna be able to do at this second. So let's be clear, this is you planning what it's gonna do. So therefore, when you actually go to build the code and design everything, you're gonna have everything you need. So again, you're putting everything that you want it to be able to do. So now you go in to design it. So you go over, and I'm not going to design it for you, but I'm going to show you get all of the pieces in. So L paddle, R paddle. So let's name these what I called them on the thing. So L paddle, R paddle. And you'll notice I've already made them. So I actually went in here and drew a line made it so there's no pieces over here. You can use this tool to crop it so it's only what you need. I found this in the actual add a ball. So again, you can add sports objects, whatever you want. Um, you can find stuff, you can draw stuff, you can upload stuff, anything that you want to do, get your items in there, put them on the screen and when you run it, that's it, right? Your goal is to draw what you have here with backgrounds, everything like that. Don't forget the draw sprites or they won't show up. And then once you're done, you'll give me a link here. You do that by clicking share, copy the link project. <clears throat> once you copy that, you can paste it here and then you need to answer your questions, right? So compare your scene to what you drew, what was different? Well, I had curves here, right? When I actually did this, I didn't, I don't have those curves. It was a little harder to do. So it's trying to think about what you were doing, right? Was it harder to Put these here right because you get to get the actual locations here i just dragged them to the location so you're 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 answering those questions what did you do how did you work what are you most proud about um again you're gonna this is very open but you know you got to put something there what are you proud of and it has to do something with a project I'm, I'm proud i completed it is not 
a good answer. So that, that's it, right? This should take some time, you're gonna draw it out, label each, every single sprite, like anything that's going to move, anything that's gonna be a sprite, you need to label it out. If your background's gonna be a sprite, you need to add the background to it. And then explain it in detail, right? This is bare minimum. What is everything gonna do? How's it gonna die? How's the points gonna work, right? Try to think of everything you can, because this is just the beginning. Our next project's gonna add on it, and then add on it. So that is all there is to this project. Good luck.